Okay, so we're gonna go back in that live again. My apologies, the AT&T guy is here. He's gonna take care of business. I'm gonna go through these very quickly. I spoke about the first house and the set. The, uh, I spoke about Venus, which is love on the first house, which rules body, personality, and appearance. So those who have Venus in the first house, which is ruled by Aries, are, you know, they love their body, they love their personality, they love their appearance, they adorn their appearance, they'll put jewelry, they have a beautiful smile, even if they don't think that they do, they really, really do, and people are just drawn to them, very drawn to them, very drawn to them, they attract, and they're really, really handsome, and okay, Venus, in the second house, is the house of Taurus. Taurus rules possessions, money, values, and it's this is where it belongs. It rules Taurus. This is the house of Venus, the house of beauty. Um, so what does Taurus love? They love their possessions. They love their money. They love their values. You know, they love having money. They love um, their values involve joy. They love having things, and there's nothing, and they attract beautiful people. Um, and Venus gives them the gift of creation. So they make money anyway. Anyway, anyway. Where it can be like overbearing is that because Venus is the planet of abundance, they have more than, than, than enough. So these folk may have, you know, two girlfriends, two boyfriends, you know. So it's more than one as long as everybody's happy and it's okay with that situation. Hey, two houses, two cars. Hey, that's Taurus. I mean, that's Venus in the second house, which is ruled by Taurus. It gives them the gift of money, okay? And let's go to the third house. Third house is the house of Gemini. And Gemini and the third house, when Venus is here, rules communication, siblings, and short trips. So they love to communicate. They love to communicate. So they speak so lovingly. And, they, and they, um, they're the writer, the poet, the artist. They communicate that love to the world. They love their siblings, especially the, the first one. They're the ones that... That they they're holding the baby sibling at the like like it's their own, you know. That is Venus in the third house, which is ruled by Gemini. Um, they love to listen. They love to they love their siblings, and they love to take short trips because that's what that house rules. And this video is broken into two today. I'm excited. I'm excited for the you know for the two because it's more and more than one. It's Okay, whatever. Then there's Venus in the fourth house. The fourth house, it's ruled by Cancer. So Cancer rules home and family, the mother figure, the emotional security. So Cancer loves the home, the family. And, uh, you know, they love being the mother figure. They love having emotional security. They have a beautiful family. They have a beautiful home. They love having a beautiful home. They love being with their family together. They love their family. You know, that family could be a mess to you. And the outside, you might be like, oh, look at these ratchet people or whatever. But to them, when they get together, it's like, this, this is my love. This is my love of family. This is love. This is where my love is. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what the neighbors think. They will love their family. And they're always like bringing the family together with that love because when you love someone else, you know, they love themselves, you know, and they could be themselves. So when Venus is in the fourth house, which is ruled by cancer, they love home and family. They love being the mother figure. They love the emotional security. So that is Venus. Love, love. Venus, you know, the goddess of love. It's a, you know, it's run, it rolls Friday. Friday. Viernes en español. Okay. And um, make today lovingly. Love yourself. Love your job. Love what you do. Love your work. Let Venus attract that love into your life. Say, Venus, bestow me with love today. Help me love my commute. Help me love the people that I'm around. Help me love my boss. Help me love that that I normally don't so that you can have a, you know, a more loving day. So I went over Venus. In the first house, the first house is run by Aries, which rules the body, the personality, and appearance. And those folk are beautiful, and they adorn themselves, right? The second house, which is where Venus resides, 
Taurus. They love, love possessions. They love money. They love values. They love to have that. They love to have that. When Venus is in there, they, you know, they attract abundance. Baby. They're the creators. They're the creators. In the third house of Gemini, they love to communicate. They love their first siblings. They love to take short trips. They're the writer, the poet, the artist. People love to listen to these folk because they speak so lovingly and they can transmute that love. You know, I'm transmute that. They can, you know, how do I say that? Um, they can project that love through their writing, through their poetry. They can bring that message to you. Um, and they love their first sibling. They love their first sibling. I, I, I have, I speak to so many people and now uh, I know when their Venus is in the third house because like they'll speak about their, their brother or sister, like the, you know, like the love, the love, they, they love, you know, like, oh, I remember when my brother did this. I remember when my sister did that. Um, they love to take short trips, so they are often talking about, oh, I love when I went to this spot, and I love when I went to that spot, you know, and they speak with love, and you know that they love it. It's not like phony or fake, you know, it's not like bossing, you know, like, it's just love. That's the third house. That's when Venus, it's on your chart, on your astrological chart, we're talking about astrology here, and your chart. Okay, when it's on the third house. So when Venus is in the fourth house, fourth house is ruled by Cancer. It's home, family, the mother figure, and the emotional security. So here, Venus loves the family and the home. They will have a beautiful home. They will have a beautiful, beautiful home and a beautiful family. Okay? They love to be the mother figure. They love to be the mother figure. Um, they love their family. They love being, bringing them together. They, you know, they create ideas to bring their family together because they love being around their family. And they love having emotional security. They really, really do. They love, love that. And that is Venus, which is all love. All love. And the opposite of Venus, it's Mars. It's passion. Love is peace. I mean, love is peace. Passion can be war. That's the higher benefit where Venus is the lesser benefit. And I just went over the four houses, peep my previous video, cause this live is split in half, y'all. We have Biggie in the background. Woo! Faith message from Biggie, baby. Hey, that is, if we have Biggie who's a Taurus, Faith Evans is a Gemini, that is Venus in the third house. You see how she communicates that love? Biggie, give me one more chance. Woo! Venus in the third house. Venus in the third house. Okay, so tomorrow, catch my live. I'm going to speak about the fifth house, the sixth house, the seventh house, and the eighth house. The fifth house is Leo. Sixth house is Virgo. Seventh house is Libra and eighth house is Scorpio. The negation, unless it smells like sanitation. Biggie loves his possessions. He loves women. I said, push it down to the top. Right? He loves his possessions. And Gemini loves to communicate her love to him. It's a perfect example. Stop it. If you're gonna you can make a profit. What is really, really cool about Venus is that this is the second part of your life. If you if you understand astrology for those who are a little more in depth. This is the second part of your life. So this is you're gonna get that love and that blessing. Though this is well, I'm sorry, like the fourth house is the second part of your life. And you're gonna get that love in the home. There's no escaping that. However long that lasts, it's up to you. But yeah, that's the second part of your life when Venus is in the fourth house in Cancer. And I wanted to leave you guys with that. Keep my video. I'm going to go ahead and finish up Venus in the sixth, seventh, uh, fifth, sixth, seven, and eighth houses tomorrow. Sorry for the breakup. My AT&T guy is here. He's going to go ahead and get my um, my 5G line, get, you know, going because I've been on two bars and I have many interruptions that you guys, you know, have been noticing and we're going to get that fixed. Mwah. Stay tuned for tonight's live. Brian Gunn is reading for San Gabriel, Chris Otero, and my right away. True player for real. Fuck that D. No more, no more. We left that.
I'm wearing it, you know. We grew up. 